job. Yeah, how'd you know? Filet mignon, imported cheese, and two pairs of pantyhose. That's a definite job. And then a commercial, a meeting on this afternoon. Uh, mouthwash? No. Toothpaste? No, it's, it's for both it's... eyelashes. Skin lotion? A cure for apple? Here's spray. I can use the money. You'd be surprised how handy this is things like food and rent. Athletes foot. We all have our problems. Anyway, it's a great opportunity. They saw that peanut butter commercial I did, and they want me and nobody else. Well, hold out for more money. Alice, I just hope they like me, so they'll use me again. Yeah, well, get them to like you, and then hold out for more money. You're very really greedy in my behalf. What are friends for? Well, it's been a perfect day. I got this real life letter from home. I got an A in the history exam, and now this job. I mean, it's just one of those kind of days where nothing can go wrong. Hi. Oh. We got sent to bed without any supper. Now you have to play football? <laughs> Don't want to play football, huh? Well, I'd like to, sort of, but Toby Jackson weighs 98 pounds. <laughs> you want to play football, but not underneath Tubby Jackson. Mm. Football can be a lot of fun, Billy. That's okay for you to say. You're good at sports. You've got athlete's foot. <laughs> Big ears. Yeah, Billy, uh... I don't know. I guess this is something you're just going to have to decide for yourself. You don't want to play football? Don't play. But what about Uncle Pat? Oh, he'll understand. I don't understand. What's the idea telling the kid not to play football? What, what kind of dumb advice is that? <laughs> you know, he bought our shirt. He, he's got to be on the team. He's my nephew. Pat, I don't think he wants to play. Oh, Sandy, of course he wants to play. He just doesn't know it yet. I think Billy's afraid of football. At least he doesn't want to be rushed into playing. Now, who's rushing him? All I did was buy him a football and a helmet. You sign him up for the team. Well, I signed him up for the team. <laughs> you ask a child to play when he's frightened of it. Look, Sandy, we know how you feel, but Billy's always wanted to play football. Really. All he needs is a, is a little push. He wouldn't have been scared at all if Newt Rockney here hadn't told him to go out and die for the team. <laughs> That's just a figure of speech. Pat, all right, why don't you just tell him you think I was wrong? I'm sorry I got involved. We can't tell him. We're the establishment. You tell him you think you were wrong. Pat, I can't do that. Uh... I, I've got this appointment. I've got, I've got to go. To, I've got to hurry. Oh, boy. Ain't that just like a dame? Opens up her mouth, stirs up a lot of trouble, and then tries to back out of it. <laughs> okay. It's all right. I'll tell him. Okay? I'll tell him. Miss Stockton, are you really going to be a teacher? 
teacher? I hope to be someday. Well, I like you anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Bill, you see that bench down there? Yeah. I'll race you to it. Okay, you're on. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go! you're afraid of it. You understand? Yeah. You think I'm chicken. No, of course not. Everybody has fears. We have to learn to face up to them. Then we find out that most things aren't as bad as we thought. What are you looking at? Oh, a bee. A bee! A bee! <laughs> What's he doing? Just walking around. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's gone now. There! You see, I used to be afraid of bees. Do you want me to play football? Well, Billy, what I want you to do is to overcome the fear, and the only way you can do that is to try it. Well, I guess it is a lot of fun. Maybe I will go up to the team. That a boy. Come on, let's go tell Uncle Patty. He'll be proud of you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> found the place. Yeah, why are we meeting out here? This is where we're shooting the commercial. At the airport? Right. I thought you'd like to see the setup. Well, what's the commercial? What am I going to do? I know. I'm going to be an airline stewardess. Oh, a lady pilot in a in, in powder puff derby. I slide open the window and the prop blast blows my hair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does it blow my hair because I'm wearing my hairspray, right? Wrong. <laughs> Roger, what is it? Well, it's pure genius. They loved it. What am I going to do? Oh, don't worry. You'll love it, too. Uh, Roger... Sandy, you know how long we've both been looking for the big break? Well, this is it. Roger, I'm not going to be doing anything topless. <laughs> of course not. Look, they love you because you're a sweet, delicate little girl with a lovely smile. Roger, what am I going to do? All they want you to do is, uh, jump out of a plane in a parachute. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. Everybody does it. You go to jump school, and picture this. In midair, you take your helmet off, and your hair doesn't blow because you're wearing the new hairspray. Beautiful? <laughs> Sandy. Look, meet your new instructor. He'll tell you how safe it is. Hey, Al? Yeah? No, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy? No! Minnie! No! Sandy! No! Double no! Positive. This commercial could be our whole future. I am thinking positive. No is very positive. Why? Because I'm afraid to jump out of a plane. So he's that late down. Jump out of an airplane? With a parachute? <laughs> With two parachutes? Hi, can I borrow some nutmeg? I thought I'd make some... You look terrible. I'll never believe it. I never believe what? You just never believe it. I'll get it. Never believe what? Alice, I'd rather you not open the door. It's safer than the free one. Do what? You may not need the money, but I do. Oh, I need the money, Roger, but I'm not going to do it. Do what? You won't be the first girl to do it, you know. Well, I wouldn't be the last one either. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. You're a big fool, Miss Stockton. Billy? I heard what you told Aunt Kate. You're afraid to do it. All that big talk about courage. Now, Billy... Well, you were lying to me. Well, I'm not gonna play football. Billy, you don't understand. I do, too, understand. You're a big phony, and you're not gonna jump. Well, yes. Uh, uh, uh no. Uh, well, I might. Uh... Sweetheart, I knew you... No, you were you know, Billy! Billy! What? Jump what? Well, so, what are we talking about? Sandy is gonna jump out of an airplane. Uh, 
crazy? <laughs> Just sign here. Don't do it. Why not? Because she's not an idiot, that's why not. Look, opportunities like this just don't fall out of the blue. Uh, float gently out of the blue. Will you sign this, please? No, don't sign. Whose side are you on, Kate? Would you jump out of an airplane? Well, uh, I don't use hairspray. Now, wait. Look, let's just calmly consider all the pros and cons. Now, on the one hand, She'll be setting up future jobs for herself. Not to mention saving my job for me. And she'll be helping put herself through college. And she'll help a little boy overcome his childish fears and maybe set himself up for a football scholarship. <laughs> and there's the pride and personal satisfaction of having done something that few women would have done. Now, on the other hand... Splat! <laughs> I think I'm fainting. Well, I, I, uh, I really appreciate how you feel, but... But there are more important things at stake than my silly fears. Uh, I made my big speech about courage to Billy. Now I have to live up to it. But you don't have to die up to it. <laughs> Listen to her, Sandy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you know that jumping out of an airplane is more dangerous than playing football. And I know that jumping out of an airplane is much more dangerous than playing football. <laughs> but in Billy's mind, I have to do it. Had a girl. Who are you leaving the TV set to? Alice, it's not a will. Now, your first jump will be from 2,500 feet. After the chute opens, you will fall at approximately 20 feet per second. 2,500 feet? Now, wait a minute now. Don't forget we're shooting footage here. We'll need time for two or three shots before she hits the ground. Lance. <laughs> okay, we'll take her up to 4,000 feet. Four, Roger, that's almost a mile. Oh, we don't want to miss the shot. <laughs> Will you stop talking like that? I'm trying to be brave. It's very difficult to be brave with you talking like that. As a matter of fact, I'd like to run right out of here, but I can't run out of here because I'm petrified. <laughs> Tell her how safe it is. Well, it's getting safer every day. <laughs> no, you'll jump with a static line. Oh, uh, what happened to your leg? I broke it. Now, the static line is attached to a bolt in the plane which pulls the pins automatically for you as you drop. This releases a pilot chute, which in turn pulls the sleeve out, which is purposely made to slow the opening of the main chute in order to reduce your G-load. Any questions? Yes, how'd you break your leg? I tripped over a poodle. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> This hornet. Well, how does it feel? Like howdy doody. <laughs> uh, hands on risers, feet together, and when I land, I roll to the side. Right. Uh, I land on both feet, on the balls of both feet, and as I roll, I remember the points of contact. Um, the feet, the calf, the thigh, the seat, the shoulder. Perfect. Okay, here goes. I forgot something. Everything. <laughs> Honey, if you land like that, you may strike oil. <laughs> okay. Feet, calf, thigh, seat, shoulders. Feet, calf, thigh, seat, shoulders. Hi, oh. Sandy. Cast eyes. Carefully accordion fold the sleeve on the pack. There. How am I doing? Beautiful. Well, practice makes perfect. It's perfect right now. It is? Yep. Tell her, Al. Tell me what? Tomorrow you jump. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, 
You mean the day after today? <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, Roger, I really can't. I, I'm not ready. I need more practice. Uh, besides, tomorrow is very busy for me. Uh, I have to uh, get my car loot. I'm 14 miles overdue. And uh, my cat, I have to uh, stay home all day and feed the cat. You don't have a car. I don't even have a cat. <laughs> what about a parachute? I don't have a parachute. You'll use this one. This one? This one? You expect me to jump in a pack I shoot in, in, a, in a shoot I pack my head? Oh. Everybody does it. Don't worry. I'm watching, and it's perfect. Uh, uh, maybe I didn't uh, stow those lines uh, on the walking flap. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You just think I did. I'm positive you did. Absolutely positive. Cross your heart and hope to... Just cross your heart. <laughs> Sandy, I've supervised the packing of thousands of parachutes, and not one of them has failed yet. Yes. We're going to do this again. <laughs> normal. I tell you. Well, it was worth a try. I know you're out of your head. It just doesn't show up in the thermometer. <laughs> Come in. Hey, uh, we, uh, we were just going by with some cookies, and uh, we thought we'd drop in and say goodbye. <laughs> he means hello. I mean, hello. Oh, uh, well, come on in. Thank you. <sighs> Beautiful night. Oh, it sure is. A little cool. Yeah, a little cool. Cool. Why don't you sit down? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, have some cookies. Thank you. <laughs> Say, there's a wonderful play at the pavilion this weekend. Why don't we all go together? Wonderful! In the morning, you go buy four tickets. Yeah, maybe I ought to get just three, though, in case one of us drops out. <laughs> get sick? <laughs> I'll get four. Okay. I thank all of you. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but, uh... It's safe. I, I, uh, I feel much better about jumping out of it than I did at first because, um, it's, uh, perfectly safe. <laughs> uh, let's watch some TV. Hit the silk! Hit the silk! I can't! My chute's caught! <laughs> Jumpers, here's the forecast for Friday's conditions. It's a beautiful day for parachuting. Clear sky, warm weather, and perfect wind conditions. You won't be the first girl to do it, you know. Well, I wouldn't be the last one either. I've supervised the packing of thousands of parachutes, and not one of them has failed yet. Splat! Well, it's getting safer every day. <laughs> You're a big phony. She's not an idiot. Before she hits the ground. I broke it. Splat! I broke it. Splat! I broke it. Splat! Oof. <laughs> Hi, uh, you ready? I guess so. I'm, I'm a little tired. I, I didn't sleep well last night. I did terrible nightmares. I didn't say that. Why? Do you have anything to do with falling? I'd, I'd, I'd rather you didn't ask. <laughs> Play, huh? Yeah. You gonna jump, huh? Yeah. I've been thinking. You don't have to jump. Huh? I mean, if you don't go, I don't think you're chicken. Well, Billy, that's sweet of you, but I have to. I made a promise. Oh. 
I was kind of hoping we could be chicken together. Yeah. jumped out of a plane and lived to tell about it? <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I mean, jumped out of a plane and lived to tell about it. Now, that's something I can brag to my grandchildren about. Especially now that I've lived to tell about it. <laughs> There's just something you have to overcome. Did I tell you how I tackled Toby Jackson? Well, about 30 times. Hi, may I come in? Sure, Roger, come on in. Listen, I, I'm really sorry that commercial didn't work out. Oh, that's okay. They're gonna give us another chance anyway. Oh, good! Oh, Roger, I'm not jumping again. <laughs> oh, of course not. It was a little too wild. Now we have a fantastic idea. How would you like to go to Tijuana? Oh, that'd be fun! And fight a bull? <laughs> 